G'day, I'm Jacob from Make Science Fun. This is Sam. Hi Sam, how are you? Today I'm going to show you how to do a science research project involving flowers. Now a good research project always involves starting with some observation or question or something like that. Anyway, last week my wife had some of these beautiful gerbera flowers out and my father-in-law came over and he started picking off the pollen out of the flowers. And I said, what are you doing that for? And he says, oh well it makes the flowers last longer if you remove the pollen. I wonder if that's true. Let's do a science experiment to find out. Before you, do a, before you do a science research, did you see your hand grow, did you? But before you do a science research project, you've got to do a bit of research. Now flowers are the reproducing part of a plant. <laughs> flowers have got boy parts and girl parts. Sam, do you have boy parts and girl parts? No? Do you only have girl parts? No, you've got boy parts, do you? <laughs> Sam's got boy parts, what a relief. Anyway, the boy parts are the pollen on the stamen. To make the flower grow seeds, the pollen actually has to get to the stigma. Nice feet, mate. <laughs> the pollen has to get to the stigma, and the stigma is the gill part of the plant. Once the pollen gets to the stigma, then the pollen can travel down the pistil to the ovule, and that's where the seed is uh, fertilised and the seed starts to grow. And that's where the, the fruit starts to grow at the base of the flower, the petals drop off, and you actually get this fruit forming. So when you eat an apple, you're actually eating a plant's ovaries. Hey, now there's a nice thought. So what we're gonna do, Sam, we're gonna break these flowers into two groups, and one of the groups we're gonna remove the um, pollen, and the other group we're not. So, how about we start splitting them up? Are you all right there, mate? Okay, so this is gonna be the group with the pollen, and this is gonna be the group where we take out the pollen. So I'm going to... Can I take out the pollen? Yep. Remove the pollen oh. from these flowers. I can't see any pollen. Yeah. What we'll do, Sam, is we'll leave this set up, and every day we'll come and check it out and see what changes there are. It's now the second day, two days after we removed the pollen from these flowers. And you know, Sam, which flowers look the best? Which flowers look the best at the moment, do you think? Uh-huh. I'm thinking these ones are looking better. This one, these ones are looking a little bit weak and the leaves are a bit shrivelly. And these leaves have like opened up quite a lot. This one's look, this one with the out the pollen looking a little bit mm, not so good. This one's looking great, 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 great. So, oh, mm. oh that that's oh, that's the there's a petal coming off there. That's interesting. And really, one of the petals came up. Hmm. We'll have another look tomorrow, and we'll see if we can make some decisions. <laughs> well, it's the third day, and look. I think the results are in. The flowers that have still got the pollen are dramatically in worse condition. Like, lots of the petals have fallen off, they're looking droopy, they're looking sad. But the ones where we took the, the pollen out, they're still quite perky. They got a lot of structure, they seem quite happy. This is a perfect project if you need one done in a short time. So give it a go. Maybe you can control the variables better than I have, like I've used different shaped vases, maybe get all the same coloured flowers. Thanks again for joining me on Make Science Fun. If you found this helpful, why not give it a like and maybe even subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.